Hey there guys and welcome to my guide on every single battery puzzle in Bright Sands. With the addition of new campaign missions that require getting inside of the loot rooms to these places, it seemed fitting to get an up-to-date guide out there for those of you struggling with the puzzles and their orientations. A couple of things you should know before getting into it is that you can actually utilize the tutorial mission mode to practice things in an offline setting. I have used this for each of the first orientations of the puzzle at each of the three locations in Water Facility, East Collection Point, and the Dig Site. On top of that, you may see red lasers seemingly blocking access to doorways. I know when I first started, I thought if I ran into them, it was going to cut me in half. Obviously, this is not the case. It's simply just a tripwire mechanic that sets off a rather loud alarm for a couple of seconds and that's it. It will attract the uh, the local wildlife and alert other people that you're there. Uh, but that's it. Alright then, let's uh, get into these puzzles and how to solve them. Uh, here we are at the water facility puzzle. This is in the tutorial mode of the game, which is actually a very, very useful tool that you can use uh, to, to practice several things, one of them being the the battery puzzles. So this is one of the two combinations for the water facility. We have a battery here, we have two batteries in a building down there, and we've got our three actual unlocking uh, locations there. So when you have this puzzle set up, what you need to do is you need to come up to this main building up here and get this battery first. And what you're going to do with it is you're going to take it down and put it in one of the, the holders down there. Come into the main building here, come out onto the side. What you can do is you can pick it up, throw it off the side there, and you can jump back here to get down a bit quicker without taking any fall damage. And then pick it up and keep running. Now the one we want to place it in is the middle. So we want power to get to this door back here. Now unfortunately these are... So we want power to this door here. So there's still a force field here and a battery in there. And we've got a battery right here. So we can take that out there. Jump out the back here. Jump up top. Jump down. We have access to the battery right here. And okay, now we've got our two batteries. Let's keep moving forward. When you're moving a battery, you can kind of throw it forward a little bit, or you can just run it. It's a little bit quicker when you try to handle multiple batteries, and this bloody thing spawned again. So I'll throw this one in. I'll throw this one in, and that is setup number one for the water facility puzzle room. And inside of here got uh, quite a few industrial crates, got the weapon weapon crate and these, wow that is a really good medical case, but got these medical cases and usually uh, if, you, if you want some old medicine, for some reason this place has just shitloads of old medicine, the miniature reactor there of course. So for here, this is one of the, uh, the quest items, a sign of life from a stranded prospector, sitting right here on the bed. Alright guys, welcome to Orientation 2 for the water facility on Bright Sands, down here on the southern side of the map. Uh, we just had someone spawn in right there, so we'll have a crack at it and see if we can get this done. So first things first, we've got three batteries, one there, one there, and one just here. So this is by far the simplest puzzle to do, because none of this requires any any sort of shenanigans with the, the holders or anything like that. It's all just simply take in place. So to get to the one at the top, simply just run out the southern side of the water facility. There's a break in the fence there and then come up to the tower here and just run up the stairs. And once you get up the top here, you're not actually going to take it down, you're going to drop it off the edge. Where you want to drop it is pretty much like right, right there. So if you saw what I did there, I sort of like walked and, and flicked it a little bit. Now that... Great. <laughs> but that, that motion carries over with the battery, so you give it a bit of inertia and you, you sort of flick it forward. Just just to make sure you don't like, you know, drop it down there or something silly. Right, 
Looks like old mates run to the west, so we should be free to carry on with the, the puzzle. Come down here and then jump up here and you can collect your battery nice and easy. And then you want to run to the edge here and... Okay. <laughs> you just want to run to the edge here and just throw it off the edge. I love them. Now to get over to this this battery here, you want to run back here, jump onto this silo down here, and we're here already. Now to get this one easier, you want to jump on the, the handrail like that, pick it up, and then walk out. Otherwise, you're gonna to have to be like walking down and around, and you can just simply do that. Same deal. Flick them off, and come over here to the left, and over here. This battery. Come down here and then just place them all in their holders and the uh, puzzle will be complete. Alright, there we go. And we got company already. Lovely. Yeah, weapon box. Get our miniature reactor there. There's our signs of life photo. Okay guys, here we are at the East Collection Point. We've got our puzzles to do. This is uh, the orientation number one. So, got our battery right here. And the first thing you want to do is take this battery out and drop it off the edge. You want to jump over here, come down, jump into the water so you don't take any damage. Come over here and pick up the battery. Throw it up there. Bit Bring it all the way over to the edge, up over here. Once you're here, you can drop it there, jump up here, pick it up, and drop it off the edge. Just like that. It's a bit easier, a bit quicker. So jump down here and down onto the pipe, no damage taken. Pick up the battery and throw it into a holder there. Alternatively, you could run all the way around and then down this way that we're about to go up. So what that's going to do is it's going to give us power to these doors here. We go into these doors, we can take the battery out. Okay. Take that out, we no longer have any power going there. But we do have power coming from that battery down there to this force field here. So we need to get back down there and take this battery back out of its holder. That turns off the force field up there and we now have access to all three batteries. Then simply just need to take all three into their correct holders uh, to complete the puzzle. There we go, orientation number one completed for just collection point. Inside of here we have the normal box for the miniature reactor, got a couple of uh, industrial weapon crates, a Weapon box, some um, consumable boxes, and a jacket over here, and a jacket over here. What are those keys? Skeleton and janitors. Not bad at all. And to orientation number two. Okay, welcome back to the orientation number two. I just had to murder two people here. Uh, it's because I was just in, in this position trying to do this uh, little intro and they pushed me and they got what they deserved. I tried to tell them I was trying to do the puzzle but they wouldn't listen. So we're under the East Collection Point here on Bright Sands and we have all three batteries fairly close to each other. This one is very simple to do. Uh, we've got a battery here. This battery here supplies power to these force fields here. What you do is you take it out and you run in here before this door closes because that door is going to automatically close itself and to open it you've got this here so what you can do is you can just walk through these force fields you take this and you put it out the door what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to take the battery and, and put them in these here and then open those doors up and, and take them out like that but you can do this it's a uh, it's it's, you know, it's a little bit quicker so <laughs> it's not that much quicker but uh, for me, it's a bit simpler as well. A 
bloody thing keep it. <laughs> so I need to put that back in. Open this door back up. Usually I would just do it one at a time instead of trying to do two there, but I was trying to be a bit fancy and it, 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 it bit me in the ass. so <laughs> just do it one at a time and you'll be fine. One done. There we go, all three batteries put into their holders and puzzles. What's that? Let's see our miniature reactor and see what we get from the weapon box. Couple smoke grenades, pretty pretty garbage. <laughs> That's orientation number two completed. Hey guys, this is the Dickside orientation number one puzzle. You got a lot of stuff going on here, a lot of cables running to and from, and even a battery in its final holder already going to the main loot room. So what we need to do First off is come down and not take damage preferably, but uh, take the battery out and put it in the middle one. This should unlock the doors. Sorry? What we need to do is actually take it, put it in the right hand one. So that's going to unlock the door over here. For our second battery. Close that back up. Or uh, that's not going to work like that. <laughs> Come in and go up the top. You can see another battery here. I'm going to take it and take it outside onto the balcony here. Hey, you made it. Jump over the top, up the battery, and keep running. What we're going to do is we're going to put it at this door here. We're not going to take it back because there is another holder in there and to get that open we need to go back and change that battery from the right hand one into the middle. Up here grab that battery, put it in the middle like I had it in the, the first one. And now we have power going to this door over here. So all we need to do is open the door, take this battery, put it in the holder there come out, go up here, come up these stairs right here, there'll be a door right here. Inside here, the third and final battery for the dig side puzzle. Alright, now all we have to do is simply take them back over to the final place and we're done. And there's all three batteries done for the orientation number one of the dig side puzzle. Coming up here, something cool about this this puzzle is it actually will give you two miniature reactors now, and it also has two weapon boxes in here. There we go. Two miniature reactors, weapon box number one, and weapon box number two is actually back down there. Alright guys, welcome to the orientation number two for the dig site. We've got three batteries to collect, one being right here. There's the loot rooms over here, the main buildings there. First battery here. Got a battery inside there and a battery over here. So what we want to do pick this up straight away. It's going to turn off all those pesky alarms. Kill that. Kill that one. Well, that's actually going to work out great. My UVAX right here. So once we do this, I'm going to be dipping. So we're going to take all this, I'm just going to throw it in here, it doesn't matter what one. So we're going to get our second battery over here. So you can actually jump over this if I can. Nope! My toes touched. I did it just before where you can jump over it. But here's our second battery. Same deal. Just take it over here. Go up the stairs and put it in its holder. And the third battery is in here, it's uh, it's behind these these force fields here. What you need to do is you actually need to just go over to the other side of the... Hey, come here you. Yeah, what you actually need to do is uh, just 
go over to that side of the building, then go down and, and around. <laughs> it's very, very simple. There we go, done one done. Go through here. See this lever? Pull the lever, and you can walk through. And you can take this out. And then they're off. You chuck it in the holder. And dig site orientation number two is completed. Go check out our loot. I know I'm making the, these, uh, these puzzles seem extremely easy, and to be honest they are. You might struggle at the beginning with uh, just knowing where the battery locations are, but it's just, you know, follow the wires and you'll find them eventually. It's not too hard. Oh, what the? I'll take it, but what the fuck? Alright guys, I hope that this has helped you with your puzzles getting those miniature reactors and getting those campaign missions done. Good luck down there on Fortuna 3 and I'll see you next time.